So let's just pause for a second here. Um, so that was a little that was a little tricky, right? <laughs> okay. Questions on this? Yes. So um, so so he's got. Two, I, I'm saying he's got, my my argument here is that he's got two warrants relating to gesture. One of them is that gestures are natural and not acquired, right? That, um, that there's a kind of natural language of gestures that's understandable without kind of mutual agreement about what the, what the gestures should mean, right? Okay? Um, the second argument, though, is that what's natural is not the gestures, but what's natural is the power of language that humans have that's natural to humans that it's n and is not natural to animals. And it actually changes the way gestures function so that gestures for animals are somehow natural. But gestures of humans, they might be natural. There might be examples of natural gestures, but then there's also these other examples. And precisely even the examples that he's giving us, you know, the secret handshakes and the, and the solemns, right? that are not natural, but actually conventional. That, that, that they, you need to kind of have a prior agreement about what certain um, gestures will mean in order for people to understand them. Yeah, and so, and he's got sort of, he's kind of using both arguments at the same time, and it's, it's not working so well, right? Because it's, you know, you can't really say both at the same time. Um, right, but he's trying, right? Okay, so, um, does Rousseau claim that gestures are acquired or conventional? Both. OK. So on the one hand, I mean, the claim is that they're acquired. But then he's got this other, you know, this other sentence that's kind of, um, if, we read, if we read some of the consequences of that sentence, then it seems that um, they're conventional. So you're right. Both, in a sense. OK? How is human language different from animal language, according to Rousseau? Yes? Good. Human language is based on convention, and animal language is, it's somehow innate. Yeah, right? And it's, uh, but, but they're also, he, he's also saying that they're based on gestures that are natural. Okay. All right? And what is the power proper to man for Rousseau, and how does it affect his argument about the qual natural quality of gesture? Yes? Uh, a convention is, um, it's basically a, an agreement you have about how to understand something, right? So, um, yeah, so like, you know, whatever. If you, if you take the word, um, I don't know what, take the word chair, right? We're all in agreement that the word chair is going to refer to the object chair. But, you know, you take a different language, whatever, we'll, we'll take... We'll take French, chaise, right? That's a different agreement, right? And, and it's really, um, it's kind of arbitrary. You know, you can, you can designate any kind of word to indicate a particular object, and you have to agree with other people on which word you're going to use. Uh, otherwise, you're not, you'll never be able to come up with a language, right? And so that's, that's what convention means. And so, but he's saying that there's certain languages of gesture, and so the example of the, you know, the, the mouse, the frog, the bird, and the, and the arrows, that's supposed to be a, a kind of language that, where you don't need convention, right? So anybody, you know, it doesn't matter what language Darius speaks, he'll understand the message, right? And so you, you don't need convention anymore. It's a kind of natural language, right? So back to our question, what is the power proper to man? No? Yes? Is it the uh, ability to form language regardless of the organs used to do so? Okay, so it's, it's the ability to form language, um, and actually a specific kind of language, a language of convention, right? Regardless of whatever organs you have. So even if you don't have um, vocal cords, um, you can create another language of convention with other means. Right? And so, there's, so he's saying that there's a kind of specific kind of language 
call it long language instinct, perhaps, in, that humans have that animals don't have. Right? That clear? Makes sense. So, it, it, but but specifically, a kind of the ability to create conventional language, right? That's really, I think, the only way that can make sense, uh, because um, that's the only language that he's indicating is, is human language. Is kind of uh, the specific human language is a language that's based on convention, right? And so that's the power proper demand, which is sort of specific, particular to humans that animals don't have. Yeah. Okay. And how does it affect his argument about the natural quality of gestures? This idea of a kind of language instinct. What does it mean for his argument about the natural quality of gestures? Hmm? Come on. Let me take a stab at that. So that's the difference between human language and animal language. So okay. So so what it, what he's what he's doing he's he, he's giving us. When he gives us this idea of a language instinct in humans, um, it allows us to think, well, the, the gestures that animals use might be different than the gestures that humans use. Right? That, 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 there's, that the natural quality of gesture is, might not be always true. That gestures might not always be natural, in fact. Right? And that we might have to reread those gestures that he um, gave us, you know, the, the examples of gestures he gave us as being actually conventional gestures and not natural gestures. So, so natural gestures would be the opposite of conventional gestures, right? So natural being, um, yeah, like the, the, the bird, the frog, the, uh, the mouse, and the darts, right? That, that would be a kind of natural gesture in a sense, or a kind of natural way of reading it, uh, or there's, and, and it doesn't require really convention so much. Whereas this, the, the secret handshakes seem to require conventions. Yeah? Okay? And so, <clears throat> so there's a, w once he posits this power uh, proper to man of language, it kind of um, confuses the argument about natural quality of, um, of gesture. Right? Okay?